an introduction to WebDev's microservices registration, also known as the now.yaml. The now.yaml solution works in conjunction with the DevOps module that allows microservices to be defined and managed from the repository. By doing this from the repository, the teams are now no longer dependent on a centralized ServiceNow administration team or configuration management, which effectively decentralizes the control of the service definition and the mapping. The now YAML could even be dynamically provisioned from a repo provisioning pipeline, um, allowing you to pre-populate it with contextualized organizational data. This is an example of our demo repo. If I open up a reference file here, this is an example of a now YAML. It's a very simple, straightforward one. We have a business application, an application service, a tie-in to the service account, and then microservices. So these microservices reference the microservices that are in this repository, and they tie up to the service structure here. If an application service is defined in the now.yaml, we have the option by default that that application service will also be created and tied to the business application. This is CSDM compliant, so you could also go the business service and business service offering route to tie that into your microservices. Additionally, as you can see here, each microservice has tags, and these tags will be used to dynamically generate the service map for these microservices, allowing you to understand where this microservice is running and or which infrastructure is being used to run those microservices. Once this file is created, it will be consumed automatically by ServiceNow and generate something like this. So here you see that same business application and the application service. Look underneath it, the two microservices we have defined, and you see infrastructure underneath it. This infrastructure is generated and associated automatically because it shares the tag with the tag-based application, which means when you deploy new infrastructure, that will automatically be picked up and mapped back into this map. So you always know what infrastructure is associated to which microservice. Now if we go and update the now.yaml, I'm going to insert two new microservices. The two I prepared earlier, so we're adding a web reporter microservice that is tied to insights operator and a data lake API, which is tied to a common data lake API application. And as you can see, we now have a bigger overview and we scroll in, there's our data lake API microservice. And we see that there are four virtual machines associated to it automatically. These were pre-configured and pre-tagged. So as soon as we created the microservice, these are the association automatically was created. And similar thing for the web reporting. If you look here, we see a whole bunch of things going on. There's actually a metrics query service, service running with underlying infrastructure. All of these are automatically tied into the web reporting microservice based on the tags. Each deployment of the now email includes alignment to your service model, the way these are constructed or the options you have here based on the model that you're using and includes the configuration of repo control fields, which elements you can include in a now.yaml and how they map out to your CMDB entries to your services. Please contact WebDev to learn more about this or our other DevOps-centric solutions. Thank you.